Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Life of Palace, home of the most trusted beard in automotive news. Happy to have you here. Holy cow, do we have a fantastic episode in store for everybody watching right now. We've got crazy crashed cars. We've got interesting things spotted in previous videos. And we're gonna be tracking the growth patterns of two of our most veteran automotive community members. Get ready, guys, here we go. But before we get into our first story, a monster thanks to our sponsor for today's video and the people that make this channel possible, Surfshark. Now, if you guys don't know, Surfshark is a VPN and they're not just any VPN. They're basically the best VPN on the planet. Now, before we go any further, guys, write this down. If you use the promo code POLOS, you get an 85% discount and three extra months for free. Now, you're probably asking yourself, why use a VPN? Why use Surfshark? For starters, it's going to help you shield your online presence, protect your personal info, and protect your ID. Now listen, all that stuff is gravy on top of what I use it for more than anything, and that's getting access to blocked Netflix content available in other countries. I'll give you guys an example. Let's say you just watched your favorite Daily German Exotics or Stradman episode, and you're feeling like maybe a Fast and Furious movie would be the perfect way to sort of end your day. You live in the US, you go into your Netflix account, you type in Fast and Furious, but uh, none of the movies are currently available in the US. Using Surfshark and changing your location over to Canada and poof, every single Fast and Furious movie is all of a sudden available for your viewing pleasure. It's completely unlimited. You can use it on as many devices as you like. It's got 24 seven live customer support, a 30 day money back guarantee, literally risk free. So what are you waiting for guys? Go check the link in the description below. Enter the code POLOS for an 85% discount, three extra months free. In fact, as soon as this video is over, I'm probably gonna go binge the entire Fast and Furious saga. All right, guys, jumping right into our first story of the day, and probably the reason why you're here, it actually has to do with the former Daily Driven Exotics Supra, the crazy wide body green Supra they did so many things to, getting into a pretty ugly crash. Now, as you guys know, a lot of cars that appear on major automotive channels, Stradman's R8 or CA, Daily Driven Exotics Skyardo, the wrecked one, or their wide body Supra find new life on new channels, on TikTok accounts, all over the place. A lot of people using them as marketing tools to further their own sort of automotive or otherwise career. For example, when the Daily Driven Exotics Gallardo that Dave bought for himself got wrecked so many months ago, the person that bought that wrecked vehicle turned it into an entire YouTube channel called Max Rebuilds and actually had pretty decent viewing for a brand new channel. Sadly, they sort of fell off the horse and stopped doing videos. And the exact same thing happened with Stray Stradman's purple C8 with the white wheels, going to a real estate YouTuber, and he did a bunch of videos with that, getting some pretty significant views there too. So we're used to seeing these cars pop up in different places, although I did not expect to see the wide body Supra pop up on a TikTok account called simply DDE Supra, and the only video there was the aftermath of the car getting into a pretty nasty wreck. Now you guys just saw the video, obviously some pretty nasty front damage there, but the text to the video that you guys couldn't see because of how we had to download it says, I was in between a six car collision and got rear ended and pushed under an SUV. Uh, no one is injured and basically there's gonna be no major damages that cannot be fixed with some cosmetic stuff apparently. I gotta tell you, it's sad to see that particular car. I actually really enjoyed the wide body green super that Daily Driven Exotics had possession of for a period of months. They actually had a ton of monster videos with that green super. So it's a bummer to see it end up in a crash, but thankfully everybody is more than okay. And that's the most important thing with any sort of crash that we're gonna cover. So something I wanna ask you guys about is would you guys appreciate a video that tracked down all the previous main cars that used to belong to like Daily Driven Exotics and Stradman and all those sorts of guys. I feel like we know where most of them are right now. Would you appreciate an episode that went over all of that for interest 
pristine clarity. There's some pretty cool cars out there. The original wide body 458 has been widely circulated and a lot of people know where that is. Following the purple C8 from Stradban, super easy. The R8 that Dave used to have hasn't been changed much at all. Let me know in the comments below, do you wanna see a video that goes over their past cars? Let me know. All right guys, next on the list is actually something that I missed watching the Stradman hypercar selection video yesterday, but I got so many messages about it. I was able to go back in the video and find the exact spot that something very interesting sort of appeared on Stradman's computer, and maybe you missed it as well. So obviously during the video, Stradman goes over a number of different hypercars he's considering, the P1, the Veyron, an LFA, an SVJ. There are all sorts of interesting cars, and he goes through each individual one, talks about the pros and cons of owning it, but there was one very sort of notable car that appeared on his computer screen that a lot of you noticed and sent to me, and it just so happens to sort of formally or currently belong to, well, another automotive YouTuber with monster views, Manny Koshman. So here's the awesome thing. At around 10.37 in the video, you see him sort of scrolling through different McLaren Senna's talking about, you know, the pros and cons of owning such a car. But when he's scrolling down the list, you can actually see Manny Koshman's Senna for sale. And if you go watch Manny Koshman's channel, you know that he just did an entire video talking about how he wanted this car to go to someone that basically was gonna do more track use and drive it properly. And if you think back over the last couple of weeks, how many videos have we seen on Stradman's channel shows him tracking his Aventador, tracking his C8. Track use and sort of track life seems to be a much bigger part of the Stradman channel now. And there is almost no better car on the planet on the track than the McLaren Senna. Now, obviously Manny's is not going to be a particularly cheap Senna to buy. That would be at the very height of his price range. But there is sort of a way to consider that there might be some sort of awesome collaboration and that maybe a Senna is still in the cards for the Stradman channel hypercar. Especially the fact that he literally scrolled right by it. I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever if we ended up seeing a Senna on the channel. Although in the tier of things that I think are going to happen, I'd say it's around middle of the pack. But I gotta tell you, it's so fun to be able to like have you guys send me awesome tips on DMs on Instagram. I try to get to everybody that messages me, although it's becoming a little bit more difficult as so many people hit me up. But you guys are able to find awesome things in videos that I totally miss the first time that we do it. So keep sending me tips, follow me on Instagram, let me know if you found something awesome in a video. If you see notable cars that appear in other people's episodes, I want to know about it. Let me know. Next up, guys, before we get to our next two stories, I want to talk about Hoovy's Garage's latest video where he talks about selling, I think it's like something like 12 cars. But man, yeah, Hoovy's selling tons of his cars. If you want to get a piece of the Hoovy's Garage history and channel and are in that particular price range, it could be a pretty cool way to jumpstart your channel. Even Doug DeMuro talks about that in sort of his take on the Hoovy's Rolls Royce that's for sale right now. Obviously, if you think back to some of the people that have bought different Hoovy's Garages cars, a Burlacker for one, the purchase of the H2 that Burlacker did from Hoovy's Garage jumpstarted his channel in a massive way, started getting over 200,000 views once he did that per video. So I don't know, take a look at what he's selling there in the video and maybe one of those cars will be the perfect way for you to insert yourself into the automotive community. Take a look guys. And we're gonna use that story as a segue into our next piece, which is actually on the successful nature of cars and bids, Doug DeMiro's new website for auto auctions. And basically going from two or three cars on it to 15 in relatively short time. Now the 15 that are currently up there, now I think it was 15, either 12 or 15, I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, three of them have already gone past and I believe a lot of them have been purchased. His car in particular, the AMG wagon, that's gone. We can go over who bought that at a later date. It certainly seems like cars and bids is off to a pretty fantastic start. And if you guys watch Doug DeMuro, this is a pretty big growth period for him. We're gonna be keeping up with this over the next couple of months. If you know, if we come back a month from now and there's two or 300 cars on it, you'll know that it's a pretty successful endeavor for Doug DeMuro. But yeah, make sure to go check it out, guys. Cars and bids blowing up. And, and honestly, a really great way to get some interesting eyes on your car if you happen to be selling something uh, that fits that particular nature. Now, our next piece today is actually on a channel that we talked about forever on our channel here, and that's F-Spot. One of the OG car spotters that basically made his entire channel that he does builds here and there, but car spotting has always been his bread and butter. And every once in a while, F-Spot will go through sort of a stagnant period, and then all of a sudden, something really big happens, and it just blows his channel wide open. To give you guys an example here, he gained 43,000 new subscribers over the past month, covering the crazy riots and looting that happened in different parts of California and LA. And he garnered over 11 million views. To give you guys an example, 11 million views in a particular month almost 
almost hit Stradman range. An absolutely incredible feat. f -Spot is blowing up right now. The trickle-down effect from his bigger videos on the riots and the looting has started to pump up his normal car spotting videos as well. So make sure to go check out f -Spot. If you haven't been on his channel for a while, go check it out. There's a reason why he's blowing up right now. Next up, guys, a great video from Donut Media on the evolution of aerodynamics. Now, this is a little bit more science-heavy than most of their videos, but I think you'll really enjoy it because it talks about the chronological progression of aerodynamics with cars over the years. So if you watch this video, you're going to have a sort of a leg up on pretty much all of your car friends who don't know that history. It's kind of a fun thing to sort of bring out at parties, all that kind of jazz. Make sure to go check it out, guys. Donut Media really does not put out bad content. This is another example of fantastic stuff. Check them out. Gotta mention TJ Hunt, guys, with the two-step tune on his Toyota Supra. Uh, this thing is absolutely insane. It reminds me a little bit of the Black Widow channel that has a crazy two-step Supra as well. Make sure to go check it out, guys. Most of the awesome two-step stuff is at the very end of the video, but watch the first stuff too. It's good to be able to support a channel doing interesting content for all of you. And folks, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I've got some really cool things coming up at the channel in the next coming months, and your support has been invaluable in helping me sort of build the opportunity to do things like that for you coming up. So thank you guys so much. We'll catch you guys later. Make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy out there. And that's all I got. Bye.